I signed a piece of paper that said, because uh, there'd been a lawsuit. And I felt it was the oldest trick in the publishing world. So it's very good. Here we are. And I'm not. And, and so, this is you know, a, a pile of, of contracts that needed to be signed. Right in the middle of it, the one which said, Oh, that one means that you have no further claim on Scarborough Fair. Now, we, now the, the, the lawsuit is all over. And, uh, so, oh, all right. Well, that sounds right? good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I signed it. And what I did, but it was uh, gave away something that uh, wasn't my property, except it was uh, mine, but it was also yours. Um, they had what they said was an assurance that it was. Uh, the original version, which is. <laughs> and I, and I, would, I would used to try and sing Bloody Scarborough Fair after that, and I couldn't, I just couldn't get through it. I just never enjoyed it at all. And then I had a phone call from. Uh, I, I had a phone call out of the blue, anyway. Oh, is, 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 that, is, is that Martin Carter? Yes. Oh, good. Can you sing Scarborough Fair? Well, I said, well, well, yeah, I can actually. And he said, oh, good. Um, can you come in on Friday or, uh, and, and record it for me? I'll tell you why. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing the music for, um, for, a, uh, for, for a, a particular thing that's going to be, it's going to be on ITV and on uh, it's three episodes. And it's a bit of supernatural, a bit of a thriller. Um, and, and, uh, the, the person who's playing the central character is, is Michael Palin. Okay. Um, could, can you come in on Friday and sing Scarborough Fair? I said, oh, all right, what time? 11 o'clock. Uh, uh, yeah, and yes, I went in. And, um, and she said, uh, before she put the phone down, she said, okay, that's great. And um, see you then. I'll bring the words and music. I said, no. Oh, right. And that was it. I went along and I sang the song. And she said, oh, she said, thank you, Bob. First of all, I went in. How do you do? These are the words. And she gave me the words. And it was, you know, there's a million versions of Scarborough Fair. Most of the verses have got a different name. But don't matter. And there were some nice variations in the in the words that she handed me. I said, that's nice. And then she handed me the tune. I looked at this tune and it came from uh, just uh, six miles across the moor as, 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 the, as the crow flies from where we live in Robin Hood's Bay. And uh, a place called Guthrie's. And they had the, <coughs> the oldest um, uh, Yorkshire longsword team. Uh, well, Morris, I suppose you call it. So it's a sword dance team, um, um, and that, that's what they have. Um, it results in us having fairly exhausted local records as well. I mean, that's that's the main thing about it. whenever whenever anybody whenever any, anybody comes up with anything old in Ghostland, they tend to take it to the chairman Keith Thompson and go, "Can you use this for your archives?" And he goes, "Yes." And pretty much takes everything, which is why we needed to build our own archive last year. Because <laughs> the reading room, which is about the size of this room, turned out to not be quite big enough. Amazing. But I had a the tune, and I looked at this tune, and I just said, Hello to you. Wow. And I went to be great friends. Oh, yes. And I sat there and said, and I had, had, the, had the words. And, uh, and say it for her. And she said, Oh, great. Can you see it again? Yes. Sang it about half a dozen times for her. And she said, Oh, that's great. Key was that in. I said, um, About D, I think. I don't think it stayed there. Oh, it's D, D, D. That's what I sang it in. She said, oh, Can you sing it in C? And I said, yeah, I suppose so. So I sang it again. She said, it was good. Can you sing it again? Yeah. So I sang it about four or five times for her then. And, uh, and then it was done. She shook hands and left. And thought no more about it. Except the, um, she, what she'd said was, 
I'm doing this, this very, um, very dense string arrangement of, of that tune. I thought, oh, I hear yeah, that. What well, is it to be broadcast? And she told me, and of course, I was still in gigs at the time, so I didn't get to see it. But Norma recorded it for me. And um, I just listened to the play out music on the last episode. And it was a fabulous string arrangement this woman had done. I mean, I couldn't hear it. Said, is, that, is that the one that, 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 uh, with the, I was singing, I was singing, I was, and she, she piled all the stuff on top of it. And I said, and I said uh, really? She said, yes, that's right. That's uh, don't lie to And Norma said, but, yeah, that's right. And I said, oh, you can't hear me. She said, well, duff over. If I listen to it again, it's there, you fool. Come on. <laughs> and there was this fabulous arrangement. And there was this voice in the back. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> yeah, this was this was actually collected by by Cecil Sharp in Gothland, and Gothland is a very uh, spread out village, so there are two distinct versions. At least of Scarborough Fair in that uh, spread out village. There's probably another uh, two or three still, but who knows? Both of them were collected at the, in the early early years of the 20th century.